What's going on guys? So I'm on my way to Home Depot right now. I'm about to pick up some things so that I could upgrade the Iwana enclosure. So I hope you guys enjoy the video of me and my friend just goofing off building some enclosures. Enjoy. As you can see, the enclosures for my Iguanas, well, the door for my Iguanas are not the best. So we're gonna be upgrading these doors so that it's a lot easier to open because these are a pain to open. So I don't really do it often. I only do it when I gotta feed him or give him, well, when I give him water, I just fill up the little hose over there or the little water bowl over there with the hose. I don't have to worry about opening this, but to open the food, it's a pain. So I don't really come here and handle them too much because of the door. So hopefully now when I do this, I can handle them more, especially since they're so friendly. You can see it's already been, what, like two minutes and I'm still opening this. You can see this guy's super excited to get out of here, but we're gonna lock him up now so that we can build this door. Now he's gonna jump out of here. This is Clyde. And we're gonna sex these guys as well right now. So to see, if, they told me this was the male and that was the female. Uh, not sure, I haven't sexed them myself, so we'll find out if that's actually the case now. For these guys, I would prefer if it were two females because I'm pretty sure they're siblings. But I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's a male female. Look at this fatty right here. Oh. So sharp. Look at her. She's massive. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. Relax. This is Bonnie, supposedly, and she's got a fat belly. And I didn't think that this size they'll be able to lay eggs, but I saw somebody else that had an iguana this size, and they did actually lay eggs. So maybe she has babies. I don't know. She's got a massive stomach. If she does have babies, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be infertile, though. Oh my god! Get back in there. No. All right, so I got to start by taking off all of these little metal frames that I put here so that I could put in the wood. All right, so here we go. All well, this is out. Now we got to take off the door. All right, so there's the first frame. This is where the hinges are going to go and we're cutting it. We're going to make the hinge, the sides with bigger two by four and then that's going to be the frame of the door right there. Now we're drilling some holes so that we can put some screws in. Right, which hole was it? The little one or this one? The bottom one. Very nice, very nice. Master carpenter. Yes, sir. <laughs> I just lost my rank. Like I said, only the best. All right, we'll cut that part out. <laughs> we'll cut this part out too. Look at that, dude. Perfect. Yep, no mistakes at all, so <laughs> perfect. And this side is also 19 and a half. So we're just going to do 19. Let's do 19. I'll have a quarter on it. All right. Um, so we cut the top here. That was like the hardest part yeah. out of the whole project. Cutting this oh, little yeah. strip. That was on the top here, but now it looks real nice. And this is what we're gonna use for the frame of the door. All right, so there's the frame. As you can see, opens beautifully. We gave it some space on the sides and some on the top. It's obviously gonna be a little bit smaller when we put the hinges in, cause it's gonna be lifted. Now we just need a cord. <clears throat> All right, yeah, um, so I want to get this cut out, the metal mesh to put on this at my grandfather's house, cause he had the tool. And we found something, we were getting some mulberries, as you can see by my hands. And we found something that was eating the mulberries. Ready? He's completely black. So here is our new pet lizard. This thing is gonna. Oh. Don't bite my finger. What's in his mouth? The leaf? Yeah, that's a mulberry leaf. See, we caught him in the act eating some mulberry leaves, and these guys are invasive here. And oh, my hand's pretty cut up. 
and uh, I didn't have a box, so I just threw him in here. So we are gonna be keeping this guy unless you know I can't tame him up, then I'll return him back into the wild. But obviously, I'm not gonna record that because you know it's invasive. All right, let's go. All right, so here it is. This is a Cuban Night and They look a lot like chameleons, their skin are super soft, and you can see these guys are really bright yellow and green. Obviously, he's a little bit darker now because he's a bit stressed out. And I just threw him in the dash because I, or not the dash, but um, I don't even know what that's called. That little box next to me uh, when I'm driving because I didn't have anywhere to put him, my friend. Uh, he lives two minutes from my grandfather, so we're getting a box for him to put him in. And we're going to see if he could do well in uh, captivity. These guys are invasive, so, you know, it's better to get them out of the environment if you can. But if he doesn't do well in captivity, then I'm not going to kill it or anything. So, you know, look at those sharp teeth. That guy could bite you really hard if you wanted to. And his legs are like gecko feet, but he has claws on him as well. And they're very sharp. I can't get him off my... Oh, I, have my I have my finger inside his mouth. But yeah, this guy should do good. Um, we'll see if he eats. Obviously, he eats the same things as my uh, lizards. Because, you know, I feed him what I grew at my grandfather's house. So everything should be good. Look at the colors on him. Look at those teeth those teeth could mess you up dude all right now we're going home he's inside the little shoe box right there and my friend has his feet over it for protection so he doesn't escape a bit again i can't get him, get him. i don't want to <laughs> grab him it's not my head yes sir oh <laughs> don't move it how do i give him to you <clears throat> all right so we had a little inconvenience there he had escaped Oh, we got him now. Let's put him back. Let's put him in his room. All right, so what happened was we had him inside the shoe box, right? He was in here. I went to grab him. He turned around and bit me. Luckily, it wasn't that hard. He let go immediately, ran up the seat, and then jumped onto the door. My friend opened the door. He jumped down, went under the car. He was... Right here, I went to grab him again, but he ran this way, came up the tree right here, and he was over here, right? I had cornered him, get close. I had cornered him right here, and I was like this. I had my leg here, and when I went to grab him, he ran backwards, went up my leg, and went uh, behind me. And I, then I moved over there so that he wouldn't jump back onto the tree, and I caught him, or he caught him. That was probably the most confusing thing to record ever, dude. No, because it's step by step. They could go back and see it. <laughs> no, but I was recording like everything but where I'm supposed to record. <laughs> and you're like here and then here. And then he goes here. Yes, I have the donut still too. Yeah. Alright, so this is his new enclosure. We're gonna put him in here with all the red foot tortoises. And he'll be able to enjoy some of the hibiscus. And there we go. Look how beautiful he looks. So he's in his new home. And we can't release these guys back into the wild, so he'll like this enclosure a lot. And that way we get rid of the invasive species here in Florida. Look how tame he is already. I tamed him up on the way to the car. Or on the way over here. He's turning black again, I think, on the head. No, he's turning he's changing back to normal now. Are you trying to eat my foot, dude? He still has the mulberry in his mouth. He's had that mulberry in his mouth for the past hour. All right, let's go inside. Teamwork. Fuck me. All right, I'm warning you already. <laughs> Yo, no. what? YouTube, dude, demonetize. Oh shit. Oh no. Again. Oh shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was too far. You took that too far. <laughs> The birds are doing something freaky. They're fighting. So yeah, this is, we're working over here and we got the sound of birds fighting in the background. Okay. All right, there we go. So we're using the metal as spacers. As you can see, the side's a little bit lower. 
on this side. But we got the space enough for the door to open. So now we just gotta screw it in on that side. It's already open. There we go. You can see much simpler now with just to put the locks. Not sure if I'm gonna put one or two. All right, there we go. Look how much simpler this is now. Just bam. And it's done. And we put this here. I don't know if I recorded that. But that's so that this doesn't swing back and the hinges fall off. But so much easier to lock now. See? Seconds. I don't have to spend 10 minutes opening this. So it'll be easier to get into the iguanas. And this would just help me interact with them better. Because I felt like when I had to open this and it took me like a few minutes to open. I didn't really put the effort into opening it. But now... For example, I'm feeding the tortoises or whatever. I get a flower, I just open this up, throw it in here, and it'll be so much easier to interact with them. Look at my two little babies. They're asleep right now. They don't even know I'm here. Um, but yeah, this is where I keep them. This is their hide box. And I made this box so that if there's ever um, like a hurricane or if it gets cold, I could just lock it up and bring them inside easily. I just woke her up. But now I'm gonna take them outside. Yeah, these guys are awesome. They're super tame, and I'm glad that I got to fix up the door. That way, I could interact with them more. And here we go, completely done now. And look at these guys eating some hibiscus. Just great, cause I get to get in here really quickly now, no problem. Just like that. And look who decided to show himself. He he broke out, and then he just walked right up to me. He's with the Solcatas now. So I'm going to put them back in the Redfoot enclosure. And these guys are going to be going to a new enclosure pretty soon. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Do you like the new enclosure? Or the new door? Yeah, yeah you did. Looks nice, huh? You like the upgrade? You're going to go to sleep? Yeah? Yeah, you are? Alright, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. What do you want? Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Go ahead. You're free to go. Good night. Yeah, it's already starting to get a little bit dark. But it's not because of this. Um, not because it's getting late. It's just starting. It's about to start raining. Uh, so these guys, they don't really like being out when there's no light. Look at them over there. Got to refill their water bowl now. All right, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Suggest something for the future. And I'll try to do whatever you guys want. As long as it's doable, obviously, but subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day.